Good morning, everybody. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this day. Thank you for each and every person here, Lord. And I thank you for this opportunity to celebrate these 10th grade students today during this culmination ceremony. Lord, I pray for a blessing upon this ceremony as we celebrate uh, not only the end of the school year, but also the end of their time in uh, the MYP, Lord. I pray that in me, we may give all the glory to you. And uh, we thank you for your love and your uh, compassion, um, your peace, and uh, the blessing of another day. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Good morning, everyone. My name is Ricky Rendi, and I am the Great Ten Lead Teacher at SPH Lipo Village. A couple years ago, we celebrated this special day by having an MYP culmination ceremony in Gym 1. All Great Ten students, teachers, staff, and parents in formal outfit going through formal event, including a procession, where we give you a certificate for graduating from your MYP program. Unfortunately, last year and this year, we are in a very different season. March 2020, when everything shifted for the first time, we all thought it will be just for a while. Later that we know that this a while has turned to a full academic year. A three-dimensional school that includes physical class, canteen, and lunchtime activities has turned to teams, Zoom, bedroom, and at-home activities. A season which everyone around the world will never forget. Although we have tons of reason to be disappointed, we must remember that today is still one of the day that the Lord has made and He wants us to rejoice and be glad in it. Today should not be just about another event or another milestone. So on behalf of our entire Great Ten team, let me welcome Sekolah Pelita Karapan Lipo Village family to our Great Ten finale, where we honor and acknowledge the journey of the Great Ten class of 2023, finishing up the MYP program with God's guidance and providence. To all of our students, we would like to express our deepest gratitude for your unwavering commitment during this school year as well as your steadfast dedication to overcome some of the hard, if not the greatest obstacle you have ever encountered so far in your education journey. You look at the bright and positive side, striving to the best of your ability and going through ups and downs to achieve the best possible learning experience from this unique situation. My endless thank you also to leadership teams, teachers, and staff that has been working very hard 
to make online learning meaningful and effective. And to parents, all parents that have partnered with us and supported your child's education day and night, all year long, in so many ways to make this journey work, thank you and thank you. Surely the world has changed. But several questions I would like to ask to Greta and class of 2023. How about you? All new challenges that await you, what will you do about it? Next up is diploma program. And as you try to figure out and unfold your path in the next two years, before you get to the finish line of your education in high school, what else can you do in that two years? I leave you up to answer those questions yourself. To you, students who have decided to embrace your journey somewhere else, nothing but the best for you. Remember, you are still part of our family, SPH Lipo Village family. At the end of the day, regardless of where you are, I pray that God will bless you with His strength and wisdom to keep striving until you become the person that God wants you to be. To God be all the glory. A couple of weeks ago, I saw a tweet that said, Does anyone feel like they're just reliving the same day over and over? With four question marks. I liked the tweet and sent it to my friends because that is exactly how I feel about this academic year. Almost every single day, beginning on August 4th of 2020, until 39 weeks and 3 days later when I wrote this script, 10th grade felt like reliving the same day over and over. Like many of my peers, I wake up to the sound of an alarm and minutes later I'm pressing the zoom link for the longest 20 minutes of the day. The 7am to 3pm schedule for 4 out of 5 school days every week continued with more schoolwork in the afternoon makes for a very tedious pattern. Granted, some days were different. Once in a while, we had connect times. Other times, we had special days, like our retreat at the beginning of the year. With that being said, with the school days we relive every day that felt like an unchanging pattern, this academic year was interesting, to say the least. It was a learning curve, I'm sure not only for myself, but for others. Do you remember what you were doing and where you were when you first found out about online learning? When I first heard about it, I was actually quite happy that we could do the activities at home instead of at school. It seemed fun at first, being able to wake up later and have more time to rest. But as I'm sure for most of us, it soon became a bit repetitive. The never-ending Zoom calls, combined with worrying about connection problems and being in a space that isn't too loud, posed a big problem for me, as I'm sure it was for most of us. This year has been very trying and difficult for me. Finding the motivation and drive to do my schoolwork Summatives, formatives, and other tasks were really hard, especially because I felt like I was repeating everything over and over again every day. Everything just seemed boring, and while the teachers were trying their best in teaching the materials, it just felt like they were droning on and on about the class. Along with that, it was hard not to procrastinate and get distracted. During this school year, I had to put extra effort into getting my work done. Some tasks are just really not meant to be online, and I had trouble finishing them because of that. Every day, it was just work, work, and more work. I think that I feel most strongly about not meeting my friends and having a personal connection with them. Without the physical contact being face-to-face, -face, I also haven't had a lot of chances to make relationships with my teachers. Overall, this academic year has been difficult for me and I'm assuming everyone else. During this year, there are a lot of things that have frustrated me. The most frustrating thing this year is probably the fact that the only thing we do at school now is just work. There isn't anything else we do during the day. Normally, in physical school, my friends and I would talk in class, joke with our teachers, chat during lunch, laugh through the hallways until we couldn't even stand up properly, and so many other things that I really miss in home learning. My memories of normal school could be a blessing and also something that I resent sometimes. 
It makes me wish for what I had in the past and at the same time make me appreciate what I had before. Almost all aspects of those memories were absent this year and all I've had to do is work and study which constantly made me feel dream. Certainly, this year was also felt with lots of frustrations. One of the main things is due to the fact that we are unable to physically meet. As a result, we are unable to create any face-to-face -face memories or to create those moments that we will never forget. Lastly, probably the most frustrating thing about online learning is technology issues. I am sure that for most of us, there were some days where our Wi-Fi decided not to work when the teacher is explaining the most important part of the class, or when a blackout unexpectedly happens and our laptop starts to run low on battery. Online learning definitely creates that feeling of uncertainty of not knowing what's going to happen next, and being in a situation certainly isn't pleasant or comfortable. Something that really frustrated me was the fact that we couldn't experience the old normal school. Um, from speeding to not be late to staying after school, all these play a part in the whole high school experience, especially the grade 10 with graduating MYP and going into DP. It should be a memorable time spent making memories together and going on trips. Instead, we were all stuck at home in our rooms joining Zoom calls living with restrictions. There were so many moments where all I wanted to do was just give up and slack off. Too many to count, and when these were to happen, I would always have to sacrifice sleep, destroying my sleeping schedule. To say that I was always productive and diligent would be a lie, because procrastination was a constant in my online school experience. But to stay positive and not give up was so important. Knowing it was easier to give up and stay negative was a trap for us to fall into the darkness. For myself, what kept me from giving up and staying positive are the people closest to me. My friends, who I text every other minute, who I turn to when I don't know the answer to a simple question, were the people who kept me going. Another thing that kept me going was the clock. Lastly, going through everything day by day, task by task, Zoom link by Zoom link was sometimes the easiest way to keep going. I think that the hope for the future and the hope for things to get better is what keeps me going. It's been hard to find any positivity, but it's always been my hope for around the past two years that we can go back to school even if it wasn't what it used to be. My close friends are also a source of encouragement and posit positivity during online school. While I can't meet them face to face, we still talk throughout the day and sometimes have breakout rooms together which encourage me and lift my spirits. To my family, I feel that the pandemic has brought us closer together. Although it can get pretty annoying to never meet anyone else except for them every day, it has made me appreciate the company and the support I've had throughout my time in home learning. Although it has provided us with so much death and misery, this situation, I think, has given us the blessing of time. We've been given so much time in between our responsibilities to change and to fix things that are unsatisfactory about our current reality. Productivity is one of the best things that has occurred to all of us, I hope, in this past year. I think that is the ideal state that we should be aiming in this situation. Productivity and to invest our time in things, not because the things it's in itself are worth it, because then that'd just be materialistic, but the things are worth it because you invest your time in it. This was the last year where almost all of our classes were with our homeroom. Therefore, to my homeroom, the best homeroom in 10th grade, 10-3, thank you. Thank you for working together to win homeroom competitions, to ask summative extension from our teachers even when we knew we wouldn't get it, and of course, for the awkward breakout rooms. To finish off, I want to thank my family for being there for me and making sure that, that everyone is looked out for. To my parents, despite this hectic year, you always made sure that we all spent quality family time together. You were the ones that were with me through all this chaos and always supported me inspired me, and even challenged me. To all the teachers, to those who are leaving or staying this year, thank you for spending your time and energy throughout the year to always find ways to create a better learning experience. Although there are definitely many classes where students were not as energetic or motivated to join classes, which might make teaching hard, you guys were still able to push yourselves and continue doing what you love. 
and to try to find ways to elevate the class energy. And for that, I say thank you. To my friends, I would like to say thank you so much for all the fun times we had, including all late night conversations, stress, and panic. Those memories are truly unforgettable. Even though everything was online, these things were really something that made everything seem more normal. I'd also like to thank my parents, teachers, friends, and families to provide me a very comfortable set of boundaries. Comfortable, really comfortable set of boundaries in which I can be productive and work and strive towards that ideal. You know, you can put that ideal. It's not it's not an individualistic, materialistic ideal. You can, you know, you can put a better self, better skills, better society, better... You can put Jesus on the ideal. You can put whatever there. So the point is, we are striving towards a better something, not... Obviously, we're not heading down. I mean, we're not aiming down. That's the point, anyway. Let's keep pushing forward, and as a wise man once said, take pride in how far you've come. Have faith in how far you can go. But don't forget to enjoy the journey. Thank you. Finally, to all the friends in great tents, staying or leaving, far or near, the end to another academic year is finally near. I want to say congratulations to all of you for making it this far. Therefore, I think for all of us, this is not the end of our academic journey yet. Completing grade 10 and going to grade 11 or leaping next year is a huge accomplishment and a huge journey. So definitely give yourselves a good break and time to rest, because we all deserved it. Thank you. Congratulations to everyone for making it through MIP. In no time, we'd all be in university, but for the time being, good luck and have a good time in DP. In that 12 passenger van in a small club in Minnesota, and the snow outside of first half. I just wanted my name in the star. Now look at where we at, still growing up, still growing up. I would lay in my bed and dream about what I'd become. Couldn't wait to get older, couldn't wait to be some. Now that I'm here, wishing I was still young. Those good old days. I wish somebody would have told me, babe. Wish I didn't think I had the answers Wish I didn't drink all of that glass first Wish I made it to homecoming Got up the courage to ask her Wish I would've gotten out of my show Wish I put the bottle back on that shelf Wish I wouldn't have worried about what other people thought And felt comfortable with myself Rooftop open And the stars above Moment frozen sneaking out and falling in love Me, you and that futon We just begun On the grass dreaming Figuring out who I was Those good old days I wish somebody would've told me, babe That someday these would be the good old days All the love you won't forget And all these reckless nights you won't regret Cause someday soon your whole life's gonna change You'll miss the magic of the good old days Never thought we'd get old Maybe we're still young Maybe you always look back and think it was better than it was Maybe these are the moments, maybe I've been missing what it's about Been scared of the future, thinking about the past while missing out on now We've come so far, I guess I'm proud And I ain't worried about the wrinkles around my smile I got some scars, I've been around I felt some pain, I've seen some things, but I'm here now Those good old things you don't know oh, oh, oh. 
What you got? Oh, oh, till it goes. Oh, oh, till it's gone. Oh, oh, you don't know. Oh, oh, what you got? Oh, oh, till it goes. Oh, oh, till it's gone. I wish somebody would have told me. Grade 10 students and parents, I am delighted to be able to congratulate you today, along with Mrs. Esther, um, on behalf of the MYP curriculum coordinators. We are thrilled to be a part of uh, this celebration. Uh, so a few days ago, I had a smile on my face uh, because uh, kind of a strange thing occurred. I was following my, my youngest daughter around, I and mean, as she played her favorite game of take everything out of the cupboards and throw it on the floor. I just happened to pick up a few things behind her and one was an old light magazine. And as I picked it up, it opened and I saw this picture. Uh, and as you can see from the picture, uh, that is some of you in grade seven. Uh, so I put a smile on my face, uh, being able to see you uh, as, as little grade seven students. Uh, but it also, uh, help me to consider uh, just the growth that you have gone through over these four years of your MYP experience. Uh, so it's obvious that you've changed physically, you've grown taller, you look older, uh, but it's been great as a curriculum coordinator and a year level lead teacher for you and a teacher to have seen you also grow academically uh, and to grow personally. So I think this year of the Services Action Project, um, and this was a challenging year. Uh, it was an independent project, um, and some of you chose to do it maybe in small groups, but you planned your own service activity, and it was such a delight to see you independently uh, learn and independently use the skills that you have gained over the years uh, to serve the community around. So back in grade seven, you may remember uh, services action was done as a grade uh, where you collected different items for the garage sale to help uh, sell to nannies and helpers and drivers um, and then to raise money through that. In grade eight, I remember uh, fondly our trip to Jokja, the long train ride, uh, but so worth it to be able to spend that time with you and to see you interacting with the students at the school there at Bopri Lima uh, and all of the activities that you had planned so well uh, to do with those students. And then last year, your trip to Lampung, where you were able to do more interacting with students uh, and more teaching. Uh, just each of these steps, uh, we've been able to see you grow and it's been wonderful to watch. Uh, one other area uh, that includes all of you, uh, since I know not all of you have been in the MYP program here at Espeja for the last four years, uh, but you've all taken part in the capstone of the MYP, uh, which is the personal project. And what a year it has been uh, to have a personal project um, under the circumstances that we have. Uh, but what a great opportunity uh, it ended up being uh, where you were able to use a lot of technology and other resources that you had uh, to still come up with a very rigorous project. Uh, and in the end, uh, it, nothing better than to be able to have our Espe House first ever virtual personal project exhibition. And it was great to be able to jump into your virtual rooms as you were presenting and to be able to see friends and family and different relatives uh, from all over the world, being able to listen to you explain and show uh, what you've been working on over the course of your grade 10 uh, year. Uh, and so in conclusion, I just wanna say congratulations again uh, on this significant milestone. Uh, and I wanna wish you God's blessing as you move on to the next step, the diploma program, uh, wherever it may be.
Uh, so I know Mrs. Esther has a few other things that she would like to say to you. And so I will turn it over to her. Reflection is an important activity, and I know that as IB students, you are well versed with that practice, where after each unit of inquiry, you reflected on your learning process, what happened, how things happened, so that you could de develop and better improve for the present and future. You connected that to different things like showing your inquiry skills, how you are a risk taker, open minded, and all those wonderful things that I pray that you will continue automatically. Mr. Dan has reflected on the MSL essay highlights. I'd like to take a few moments to reflect on your curriculum highlights. Grade seven, peel, and not the kind where you peel an orange, but point evidence analysis link, where you were taught to come up with quality evidence and then to be able to show your thinking skills when it came to analysis. Grade eight, the outsider's day. Tradition, where some of you have had older siblings who've gone through this fantastic unit where you were taught the importance of being fair and being empathetic and treating others with kindness. I also think of your IDU unit with humanities and English, choosing a refugee crisis for your video documentary. This was yet another opportunity to work in groups. This will continue to be an important life skill, working with others who are different from you and who bring different skills to a project. Grade nine, we know that choice is important. And so this was where you were given the choice to participate in drama for the first time. By the way, thank you so much to a grade 10 drama students for your fantastic online drama performance, a very first. You see, you've come a very long ways and you've covered so much. And we have so many people to thank. Thank you to your parents for your prayerful support. Thank you to your teachers and admin staff. Thank you to you for persevering when the going got tough and especially this year. But I wanna pay a special tribute right now to Mr. Dan for his capable, empathetic, kind and humorous leadership in MYP. Many of you will know that Mr. Dan is going home, but I wanna thank Mr. Dan for truly making SPH a second home. And so I know that all good things come from the Lord. And so at this time, I want to say, thank you, grade 10. God is good. Thank you for making this year a special year and may God bless you as you move on to DP and into the future. Good morning, MYP graduates and teachers. My name is James Chen, and this is Ribka Bauchandani. We are your student council president and vice president for the 2021 to 2022 academic year. First of all, we would like to thank the grade 10 level teachers for giving us the opportunity to speak in front of all of you today. Now 10th graders, or should I say soon to be 11th graders, congratulations on finishing your journey in MYP with a blast. All of you did a marvelous job this year. We know that it could not have been easy. I'm sure we can all agree that this year was full of surprises and challenges that we once wouldn't have been able to even imagine. Perhaps last year, when you first heard that we'll be staying at home for a while because of some foreign virus, some of you were happy. Two weeks turned to more than a year, but you made it. And if this past year it taught you anything, it's that you are more than capable in finding creative solutions and, adapt and adapting to new environments. Grade 11 and DP will also be a new environment and will come with new challenges. All of you got through this year, so walk into DP with your head held high. By now, most of you are probably tired or terrified after hearing your seniors talk about the hardships to expect in DP. But we are here to tell you what to look forward to. Although it's true that you'll find yourself being constantly challenged in DP and sometimes even find yourself in the verge of tears, you will also meet devoted teachers who have your best interests at heart. When you're struggling in class, crying over grades, or when you just need someone to talk to, He'll always be there for you. Before we end this, let us leave you with a few Gandalf-inspired words. First, find yourself a friend that can call at 1 a.m. to cram for that stubborn Bay test. Second, find your favorite form of caffeine to keep you company during those late nights. Whether that be Red Bull, Coca-Cola, or my favorite, a classic cup of coffee. 
On a more serious note, one key to surviving DP is grit. You'll fall and sometimes you'll be demo demotivated, but it's grit that will get you back up. Lastly, we want to remind you to finalize your subjects with those that you actually enjoy. It's going to be a long two years. Don't worry if none of your friends are there. You'll find new and exciting friends in all of your classes. To end, I pray that each and every one of you will exit the ceremony feeling proud of all you have accomplished throughout your journey in MYP and that you take all the lessons you have learned this past year and use them to equip you for the diploma program. Good luck and DP awaits you. Bye! As a parent, I feel the biggest challenge of this home-based learning are social and learning issues for the children. The absence and lack of social and in-person interaction with their teachers and peers contribute to factors needed for them to build life skills such as in communication and confidence building. Too much screen time affects concentration and causes eye strains. For this grade 10 cohort, they miss out the fun and laughter with their friends in class and hallways, hanging out after school or during the weekends. They also don't get to experience their supposedly last MSL trips and personal project exhibitions which they had worked hard on. It had to be done virtually. The last 15 months of home runnings will be the most challenging time for our Gretan students. Boring, frustrating depressing. These other reasons are make the students less motivated to study when no more socializing with friends in and out of class. The challenge is even getting bigger. There's so many temptations while homeschooling, like watching TV, watching YouTube during school, play games, or even do sleep during class. I personally teach my kids to be tough as this situation is out of our imaginations and something that we must overcome no matter how hard it is. I can feel the burdens with homeschooling but we as a parents must give our kids better understanding to motivate them to study well during these difficult times. Oh, after spending one year, oh, entire whole year with the online schooling only, wow. I don't see any problem with online schooling. Thanks to you guys. And you guys, I mean the, 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 the grade 10 students, you guys should be very proud of yourself for being the, the, the frontliner and tra trailblazer of this new era of the schooling. You know what? Uh, the human history is all about the, the challenge and the response. There has been many challenges, and then every single challenge we, we face is the human civilization has evolved throughout the challenge. And throughout the last school year, I think we evolved. All of you, I mean, uh, became the, another level. It's quite nice to have them at home actually and with the technology that we have nowadays I think that you are very blessed. They save a lot of time getting ready for school and coming back from school because we live in Jakarta so I'm grateful that they don't have to get up so early to get ready. More time to sleep for them and they don't have to be stuck in the traffic on the way home. Also the teachers are quite equipped to teach online so the students can still learn which is very important. As a parent seeing my children and our children spending the entire academic year online, I'm still counting my blessings that we still are able to stay connected. We still have internet connections. We have tools and laptops at home and a supportive environment for our children. In addition, our children get to witness and learn firsthand how to maneuver through challenges like this and also learn to make a lot of new creativity out of the situation while we all continue to pivot. Nevertheless, we are still thankful that SPH was able to equip the teachers and students 
with the online teaching platforms and resources to enable our children to continue with their learning. These experiences also taught us to be more thankful with what God has provided us with our daily needs. It also empowers us to be more creative and how to manage frustrations and from those develop resilience to make the best with the circumstances we have. I thank the school and teachers who continue to improve and optimize learning for our children. We all know the next year is going to be a big year to all of you, right? 11th grade. Maybe the biggest year of your whole life. And I hope you guys found something that matters to you. I mean, uh, the performance from the people who were forced to do it and the performance of the persons who do something because that matters to him or her. There are huge differences. It was proven fact throughout the many times social experiments. And in that regards, I hope you guys found something that matters to you before it's too late. And that's the number one secret of the successful life. And for all the new students in grade 11, my advice to you is you, you choose your subject that you are interested and have passion to learn about it. Enjoy the learning process. I hope that you are more uh, matured, more organized and better time management. We as parents, what we can do is only support our children physically and mentally. Be there for them if we need their if they need our help. And just want to listen of their stories, our problems, and to try to understand them if they are busy. Give them some space and time as much as they need it. And never stop praying for them. Of course, we hope that this pandemic will be over soon so that school will go back to normal. But even if we have to do hybrid, this will be good for them after being at home for one and a half years. I also hope to meet the other parents since we didn't even get to meet the new parents, to have some sort of gathering like Christmas Bazaar or other events, because this is the time when we can bond together. But I am happy to see that our children has now given a new chance to move on to hybrid learning system and still giving some of us a choice for those who still prefer to stick with online home learning. My wish, and hopefully I can represent grade 10 parents as well, for our grade 10 graduates of class 2023 to continue to stay strong, keep your visions clear, work hard, have fun, stay curious, create your own GPS for your future because you are in control. To our grade 10 class of 2023, I'm sure there have been ups and downs for the year. We are proud that you all made it through. Be brave to learn from the mistakes and get back up to continue to pursue your goals in life. We will be supportive and look forward with much excitement to seeing what you make of the journey from here. Congratulations once again. God bless all of us. Last but not least, I would like to congratulate all the students of grade 10 class 2023 for achieving another level, another milestone to grade 11. I personally am amazed for what we have accomplished and looking forward to seeing you tackle uh, even bigger things in your future, especially in grade 11. I, uh, I or we hope that this pandemic will gone soon and you guys can go to school as normal again congratulations grade 10 for completing this challenging year despite this pandemic we hope that you keep going and we will always support you no matter what so today is a milestone it tells you how far you've come keep learning keep trying keep accomplishing and keep venturing on through your journey so keep the faith, keep on moving, and keep on climbing. 
Congratulations to our graduates of class 2023. Well done, everybody. We are very, very proud of you. We will close this event with closing prayer. I will lead in Bahasa. Mari kita berdoa. Bapa di surga, kami bersyukur untuk acara culminating event kelas 10 yang sudah berjalan dengan baik. Kami bersyukur untuk orang-orang yang terlibat di dalam kegiatan ini, yang sudah mempersiapkan uh, kegiatan ini dengan jerih payah mereka, seluruh tim, Pak Reki, dan seluruh tim yang sudah mempersiapkan dengan sedemikian rupa, sehingga kami bisa uh, mengadakan acara culminating untuk mengakhiri tahun ajaran ini dengan baik dan lancar. Tuhan kami juga bersyukur karena Tuhan sudah memimpin kami sepanjang tahun ajaran 2020 sampai 2021. Baik banyak hal yang sudah kami lewati, suka duka, berbagai kendala yang kami hadapi, semangat yang naik dan turun, kadang kami merasa capek dan lelah, tapi kami melihat bagaimana Tuhan setia dan terus menuntun serta menopang kami. Kami berterima kasih untuk orang-orang yang sudah mendukung kami dalam pembelajaran, dalam proses pembelajaran kami. Orang tua kami yang terus mendukung kami, baik dalam moral maupun mendukung kami dalam berbagai aspek. Tuhan kiranya engkau memberkati mereka. Guru-guru yang mengajar kami dan juga teman-teman seperjuangan kami yang sudah memimpin kami uh, dan me- dan sudah bersama-sama dengan kami. Tuhan kiranya juga engkau memberkati mereka. Dan kami juga uh, anak-anak uh, kelas 10 tahun ini uh, akan melanjutkan ke jenjang yang lebih tinggi. Uh, baik yang melanjutkan di SPH maupun yang memilih untuk melanjutkan di luar SPH, kiranya Tuhan tetap menuntun dan menyertai mereka kemanapun langkah mereka. Biarlah ya Tuhan di uh, pendidikan yang lanjut ini, dimanapun mereka menempuh pendidikan, Tuhan memberikan kelenca- kelancaran dan apa yang mereka cita-citakan boleh terwujud. Biarlah juga kami semua memiliki uh, semangat belajar yang tinggi sehingga Hal-hal yang mungkin akan menjadi kendala di masa depan tidak akan mengurungkan niat kami di dalam belajar. Terima kasih ya Tuhan, kami sungguh bersyukur untuk hari ini. Kami akan mengakhiri uh, acara ini, uh, kiranya Tuhan terus menyertai kami. Di dalam namamu kami berdoa, di dalam nama Tuhan Yesus Kristus kami berdoa dan bersyukur. Haleluya, amin.